Rainbow Smiggles about to go make a wasp brick piece. Wasp brick, wasp brick. <laughs> so where'd all that yellow? Oh, it's right there. They're just parts for the RC. Oh! Yeah, dude. I want those to be here. Oh, my name is Horton. I am a who. Okay, I guess we should probably make some shit. Got me rainbow schmiggles. Where's me phone? Oh shit! I left me phone upstairs! Piss! Piss! <laughs> Dude, the uh, rainbow schmiggles. Schmiggles oh, unboxing. Last time I just cracked it all the way open and it fucking explode tacked. Literally X. Ooh, it still wants to. <sighs> Saved it. Those beers are good. They're not as good as the hype though. They that they've made way better beers. A hundred way better beers. So first step, we need to make. All we gotta make is a little bit of light yellow. The rest of these are good. There's no white in this design, that's cool. Boom! Boom bap, boom bap bap, boom bap. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I striped a little bit of the yellow onto my white, and now I'm just hand mixing it, just spinning it up. Um, as you keep spinning it, it'll mix together and pull it apart. Um, right now I'm using the new acid yellow crayon from Glass Alchemy, and this is Roger Paramore's white. And... Sometimes it's tough because it doesn't look like it's boiling, but it looks really bubbly. So for his hair, he has like a greenish or a bluish gray hair, but blues are really tough. So I'm just going to use a light gray. <sighs> for his skin, we're going to use the dreadfully awful plastique. It's probably one of the worst colors I've ever made. But we'll get it. I'm like it's like already boiling. It's just a bad color, but we only need a head out of it. So hopefully we can get a good enough piece that it looks good. So when you're working these really finicky colors, you just want to work it really slow, <clears throat> a really bushy flame. Like, and I work it way out at the top. It takes forever, but it comes out, in my opinion, the best. This is when you start making welds and stuff to them. You got to be really careful that you're not boiling underneath the welds because it'll cause it to like pop off little attachments or arms or whatever the fuck you put on your little thingy. Little dingle dongle. And that goes with any glass. You don't want to boil out your connections because it makes it really weak because it's just full of bubbles right there. So Rick Sanchez from 
Well, I was gonna say Earth C-137, but this is actually Wasp Rick, so it wouldn't be 137 Rick. Be something different. <laughs> so, I don't know. If anybody knows what uh, universe Wasp Rick is from, tell me in the comments. So I've got a nice little round head. I'm gonna put a punty on the bottom and I'm gonna sculpt the whole head out and put the head in the kiln and then make the body and do the same thing. So a nice little cold seal right there. Take this off on this side. And you can see it's a pretty small head. We're not gonna, the whole body and stuff is pretty big on the wasp brick and I, it's for a peak attachment so we don't want it too big. If it's too big, it'll be really fucking heavy on top of the peak and we don't want that. So just bringing it back out into that bushy flame way out to the top, round out this other side just into a little oval while I do that. Uh, drink me some rainbow schmeggles. Which I specifically waited for to make this piece. So thank you to Pontoon Brewing for making this piece possible. And thank you to Sea Nice for commissioning this piece. So I guess thanks to Sea Nice for uh, commissioning the piece, because that's really what made it possible. If anybody is interested in custom glass work, please contact me on my Instagram, Dabber Jones. Oh no! So luckily, um, here's actually a really good lesson. If something like that happens, don't ever fucking panic. A lot of times people fucking panic and just realize that it's only a few inch drop. And if you're working with something small like this, it's not even gonna matter. And even if you're working with something bigger, it's probably gonna be something that you can repair. Um, obviously just try not to do that at all in the first place. So Rick has eight hair spikes usually. So I'm gonna try to get all eight. And then in the back, he has a bald spot. So I'm trying to get the gray hot enough and the skin tone hot enough that they'll fuse right away. And then I'll leave the hair spikes a little longer and then I'll go back in and even them all out once they're all in. Cause naturally as you go, they're gonna get a little messed up just from the heat spreading. Um, so when I'm doing this, I'm going in and I'm overlapping my spike a little bit because Rick's hair is all, con all the spikes are connected. There's no gaps in between the spikes so, so far, so good. I'm just minding your colors, just so you, cause these are obviously, this gray is a lot more tolerant than this skin tone. So I'm able to beat the gray up a little more. Which when you're sculpting and you're putting colors next to each other and stuff, and maybe you can't get a white or a yellow or an orange like hot enough to really get that in there get your secondary color hot hot enough that it transfers that heat into the glass and then it'll really help you out And as I go, um, I'm gonna try to start like wrapping these around to the back cause he's got ears and stuff. 
Actually, this Rick doesn't have ears. He's got little pincers. Okay, so there are Rick's hair spikes. Um, whenever you're sculpting small things like this, if you like do one step and you're like, ah, oh, it doesn't look good, just wait. Cause usually it doesn't look good until you get everything put together. Usually once you get the eyes in, it really starts coming together. So don't feel discouraged. Always keep your chin up, kiddos, and work on. Because in glass, it's really, really tough. Don't fucking beat yourself up if you can't get these, like, perfect fucking sculptures because even the best sculptors in the game Boro is a very is really hard to sculpt so even the best sculptors in the game are not making perfectly accurate sculptures it's just not don't be unrealistic so now what I'm going in and doing is I'm heating each spike up one at a time and pulling it to a nice point like uh, Rick's hair is which just after doing three you can already see it coming together and then grab a tiny dip of brown And I usually won't pull out long stringers. Um, I'll just use the rod unless I like need long stringer because I'd rather just dot with this tip than try to pull out a bunch of stringer and then just waste the stringer for no reason. So, so I left some space in here for these little like pincer spots, I suppose. So those little spots will be where the pincers go. Uh, I'm okay with this white for the eyes. So I'm gonna go in and heat some of this up. This is the yellow that I mixed. Closer to the end is what it'll look like. And now that it's mixed, it's actually pretty tough color works nice so I'm gonna do the same thing like I did with the hair I'm gonna put both spots on for the eyes first and if you watch Rick and Morty you know that their little pupils are always like little scribbles so I'm gonna try to like pull out a really nice thin stringer and then really carefully just kind of try to scribble on Ow. They didn't come out too scribbly, but you've got a little scribble. And go put his little eyebrow on. And when you're sculpting like this, you just want to kind of continuously try to get as many of the little details in as possible. You don't have to get everything, because like I said in glass, it's not about, you're not going to get it perfect. You get it close, but. It's just not gonna be quite perfect. So don't get discouraged or anything if you're not, if it's not exact, so. So I'm gonna stick this in the kiln and make a couple pincers, or actually I'm gonna do his mouth first. Hopefully that yellow for the little mouth pincers and stuff comes out a little more yellow. Alright, so there's my little wasp brick head. Pretty pretty happy with it. 
Looks good. <laughs> yeah. I honestly, I think it's the only season four episode that's readily just like out. Now he's not black. I thought I was gonna use mostly black, but he's all brown. So we're gonna start with a little bit of brown. Making a wasp butt, making a wasp butt. I think I might be getting it too big. So right now we're at five rings. I'm gonna put one more yellow ring at the top and I think we're looking at like a pretty good wasp butt. Interestingly, they don't have stingers. So the reason I chose to do wasp brick was because a lot of the stuff is just overplayed. Um, I wanted to do teddy bear rick, but it's really hard to find good blues. And he's like majority blue. Um, pickle rick's just mega overdone. A lot of the stuff's just like too overdone. So I wanted to think of something cool and unique. So I settled on wasp brick. I had worked on a Kirkland Me Seeks for this project that I didn't like. I just ended up tossing it out. Um, a couple other little characters, but I just didn't really like them. Um, so I like kind of took a step back on this project and just let them all, let the characters kind of simmer in. So yeah, that's why I'm doing wasp rick and not another rick or Morty or something. Okay, so now I have a little torso with his little breastplate and stripes on it. I'm gonna pull this off and then I'm gonna attach it to my other body and then attach the head and then start working on the legs. And then the wings will do out of like a North Star yellow, something transparent. So when I put this on here, I gave it a lot of force. So it gave it this little ring because it just gives it that a little better insect type look. If you do that though, you just want to pay attention because it'll tend to pop and crack right there. Just like little surface cracks. Just make sure you pay attention and keep that spot hot. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really paying attention to the shape of it right now. He's going to be in a flying position because I want to be able to fit him into the bottle. That's like literally the only thing I'm thinking about right now is getting his body into a position. Whereas if you look at wasps fly, their body and legs and wings are kind of centralized and their butt like sticks out so as a counterbalance. I'm really stoked with the size of this right now, the proportions of the head to the body I'm stoked on. Just being super careful now not to melt in any of my details that I've already got on there.
So there's always a point on a piece when I start getting really excited. And for me right now, it's right now. It's this moment. This is sick. Ugh. So I've got my main body. I need to make some legs, four legs. And some arms and some wings. He's got arms. Okay. So for these legs, I'm gonna pull out some equally sized. Only the beginning of the part of the leg is brown. So the way I'm gonna do this to get it even is I'm gonna use a larger rod. And I'm gonna build all four legs right off this rod, as long as everything goes well. All right, so I have some lay, I have four legs. Um, I'm gonna put them on his body now. So his legs are actually attached to this little brown part. Um, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. In order to do that, I'm gonna put four little connector points here. So I heard a little tink on it. So I'm gonna really slowly go in, and brush, brush these into the nubs I want them to. And then I'm gonna try to find where it tinked, just to make sure it's, it wasn't the piece or if it was the piece that I washed that out. If anyone know, is wondering what the fuck I'm talking about, a tink is when the glass checks on the surface somewhere. You can feel it in the handle and you can hear it a little bit. And I'm willing to bet it was right here. Yep, all fixed. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and one at a time pick my feet off this handle. And these are so small that it shouldn't, nothing weird should happen when I go to take anything off. The rod that are, they're on might break, but. So the only thing is, is 
His foot's turned around, so I'm just gonna heat it up and spin it around. So I just put a little temporary bridge there so I can go in and attach these legs really well. So I'm gonna pull a leg off. Pretty cool. I gotta make some wings. Wings, baby. Another day of sending O to O to. So when they're wings, their wings like stick like up. Those wings are gonna have to be like sticking up. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fit it in a fucking piece.
Quas brick, baby! So when I put sculptures inside stuff, I try to leave a lot of extra at the bottom because I usually put them in connected at only one spot. So you have to be really careful when you connect it at only one spot because that one spot gets too hot. It's obviously, obviously going to start moving around. Damn, that's it. <laughs> Wasp brick, baby. Wasp brick and his retarded arms.
So when you put them in there like that, you really want to make sure that connection is solid or you're going to have some crazy fucking issues. Make sure it's big enough to withstand heat. Make sure it's far enough away from both sides that you're not going to fucking heat it up on accident and your sculpture will start flopping around and then you're fucked. <laughs> Literally, you're like fucked. So make sure that's good. As long as that's good, you should be good to go. <clears throat> I need some punties, bro. All right, let's seal up this bottle at least. Get this part good and start figuring out how it's gonna look on top of this bad bitch. Okay, so now you're gonna see why I leave it a lot of extra because the more I put stuff inside side things, a ball, a sculpture, whatever the fuck you're doing, um, <coughs> you wanna try to be able to do it without like getting everything hot all like too much, like over and over. So what I do is I heat a ring right here. I just keep spinning it and I let the ring just drop off and I kind of flatten the bottom out myself, or obviously myself, or just like with the flame instead of the marver because the marver sucks the heat out of the glass and you want to try to heat the glass only once right here because even with these legs and stuff, you don't want his legs to get too hot and start like bending. <coughs> so you can see it starting to pull down already. All right, so Rick is in a bottle. So the next step realistically would be to choose where we want the perk, which really like right here would be perfect. So I might just put it literally right in the corner. So with a peak attachment, you have a little bit more freedom to put a perk kind of wherever. Um, so that's actually gonna work out pretty good. So. Next part, I me a little perk perk. Perk up, perk up, baby. So it's a pretty straightforward perk. Uh, usually I would do it a lot different than this. It's heat attachment. All right. So the perk is in. Got a really good seal on it. One spot that uh, might be iffy, but probably not. Let's hit it just in case.
Boom, so let that weld harden because there's a lot of heat in that. You don't want it moving around, so. So when I'm done with the bridge, I always take the bridge off because uh, glass expands and contracts as it heats up and cools down. So if you have a bridge that's always cold and you have something in the middle that's expanding and contracting, once everything else starts going back to its normal state, it can the bridge can pull it and stretch it and make things pop. So once you're done with the bridge, you shouldn't really need it anymore. I just pop that off. And I'm leaving space here because I don't have air pressure here. I don't want to fucking get myself into trouble with those antennas at all. So I'm going to stick this back in the kiln, let her cool, warm up. And then the next step is we'll pop a hole in that uh, base and then run a tube to the perk. Tube to the perk, tube to the perk, tube to the perk, tube to the perk. I used to make some heavy ass ones though too, so. Ah, the smiggles are getting me through. Damn, it's fucking 1220. Uh. I guess good thing we both took a nap a roni A nap a scrooney. How'd your counseling thing go? Good. Good. This is gonna be a touchy move right here, and I'm gonna stylize it to go with the current shape. Just because the antennas are so close to the top right here, you wanna be really fucking careful. Like you can get stuff really close. You gotta be really careful you don't tag it. If you tag it, I you can get it out, but it's really tough.
Bro, I love it. I think it's so sick. I think the wasp brick came out so dope, his little fumey wing. As soon as the wings were on, I was like, oh, this is fucking cool. I'm gonna go do a dab. So last step, we'll take that little nib off the bottom, flatten the bottom, then we're gonna puff out a little hole for the intake right here so it will slide in right there. And yeah, and hopefully it fits his peak. All the peaks are a smidge different, so hopefully everything's good and he's happy when he's done. Did this done. But I really like it, so I really fucking hope he likes it. I am stoked on how it came out, and it's way cooler than I was expecting. So, that fucking Rick is so sick. Butterfly or wasp Rick? We should do a butterfly Rick. Okay, so we have like two minutes. We just gotta take, wait, let it all heat up. Equalize in temperature, pop it off the handle. And then she's done ski. Super stoked. Dude, it fits like really fucking good in my base. So it should fit even better in his base. Cause I made it a little loose cause my base is a little, a little worn out. I'm stoked on this piece, bro. Like, super stoked. Stoked! 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 It looks like wasp brick. Ah, I should have put some goo coming out of his mouth. I better start over. I wouldn't be done till like eight in the morning. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pop this piece, piece off the handle. Um, I don't always warm these up, but it's cold, really cold out today. So I'm gonna warm up my grabbers. Um, I need to get a few pieces of rod ready just to open up my neck. I usually only need one, but just in case I always have extra. go.
always take a picture first before I take it off or anything. Um, just cause that's when it's fresh out of the kiln. I try to get it back in the kiln as fast as possible at this point. Just because it's a finished piece and there's no reason to have it out. So I'll pull that thin and then usually it's thin enough that you can just twist it open right here like that. It's being really soft because it has that yellow inside. I don't want to boil that out. I'm going to leave a little lip on this one because it just looks clean and simple. And that's a finished piece. He's in there. Fist bump. So, a lot of people always ask me, I always set my kiln to an eight hour anneal cycle. Um, unless I'm doing striking colors and stuff, I'll change it up a little bit. Uh, at the end of the night, I always light my torch. I have a Herbie and I don't run my compressor all the time. So I'll light my torch and I'll just, Brush, brush that off really good. I usually use glass just so, cause it's not gonna scratch the metal. And then in the morning, I clean it with a wire brush before I work, so. Yeah, we're done. Good job. We're gonna finish our rainbow schmiggles in celebration of the wasp brick piece. I'm super stoked, so. Hope uh, this video turns out great. Fuck all you. Okay, let's go upstairs and make some food ski. Oh man. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Let's see what raw wasp brick looks like. First impressions, epic. Just gotta check him over. That looks really good. That looks good. All right, so here's our peak attachment from last night. This is wasp brick in a, in a bottle. A very technically challenging piece, a really fucking epically cool sculpture. So we're gonna go take photos of this and send it to the client. This was a custom piece, so make sure he accepts it. I'm sure he will. And then he's local, so he'll come over and pick it up. So we might be able to do a little filming once he gets here and see what his reaction is. I don't usually get to see that, so that will be cool. All right, I turn my kiln back on because I have to make a piece every day. Bam, dude, this thing is fucking sick as fuck. Oh my God, I love it. Wasp Rick. Dude, I want to make just a wasp now, like a wasp in a bottle, dude, oh man. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is so sick. Oh, that is so cool, man. None of those, none of those peaks work. He'll bring his peak over. Oh, I'm so stoked on that. That came out awesome. Yeah, and it was tough. Yeah, said, it was those... She said it was a bit of a bitch. I mean, yeah, like, it's, yeah. yeah I it's filmed them do the whole like, thing. It's crazy. Those peaks are <laughs> tough <laughs> because, like, they can't be too big, so you're really limited in like how much you can put inside Leia. there. Hey, buddy. Hey, seriously, Leah. Go. 
Come on, you need to go lay down. Go, go both girls. Good show. Yes. Yeah, both girls. girls. Boba and Leia. That's Boba. Boba and Leia. Yeah. Nice, sweetie. Yeah. I got two girls. It's very similar. I got like an Aussie and a and like a pit mix, and the pit yeah. mix is super fucking chill, and the Aussies and Dude, oh Aussies are insane. You can yeah. the same way. I, said, I met Tyler through Vincent Gordon, yeah, who's been a really good friend of mine. Yeah, that's for you. Oh, awesome! Figured, like, Thank you. Yeah, you one of those, he, I saw one of these on Instagram too, where yeah. he has one. It's like fits perfect in the puck yeah. case. Yeah, dude. So Vincent's a really good friend of mine. Okay. Um, I've had this thing a couple years, and I, I sometimes I don't dab a ton. I mean, I like to smoke a lot of flour, but I mean, I'm gonna get more into. It. <laughs> yeah. but, I love uh, them both, dude, man. I love that piece. I love that it came out. Dude, this is sick. It'll be cool too because we're sick. doing a vlog video of the whole. Better have some juice. I, I, I charged it and turned it off. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, we. Did I like the whole them cool. Thing, so. I don't know. You, you get to see how excited I was when I like put it in the kiln. Oh, a dude. lot of people don't ever get to see that, so it's the first time I've ever filmed it. And you, so. and he's okay. I'll yeah, yeah it's all on like. So excited because uh, like, uh, just like you've probably I've seen, seen a lot of it. Like, I, yeah, it was fun because I don't think I could have made that same piece like the same day that we met. You know? And it's always cool. Oh, so I, like an evolution process. Yeah, because I really yeah. started working a lot, and it's like that for me. That's probably the most most delicate and most intricate sculpture I've done so far. Like, uh, this might be, okay, so this, yeah, he's really cool. I'm, I'm honored then, bro. So this is one of the most, maybe complicated, intense, yeah. Yeah. That's the, awesome. The, the little mini Thank sculpture you. is for sure. Cause I mean, that Charizard one, I don't know, I sent you the picture of the Charizard, I think. And like, if you're not into Pokemon, it's not as cool, but. The Charizard was really cool. I, I saw I saw that. something today that was like a like you call them pumps, right? Like the, yeah. yeah, like the the pump yeah, and it had like pumps. same thing like the insert. I'm sure I've had a handful of friends who are glass blowers for the years. I don't attest to completely understand. I've watched people blow glass, right. but I, I guarantee that getting like it's making the, it's that and then the getting bottle. that in there. It's yeah, taking like, me like So I do like a big dab and you kinda and I'll pass it around. Oh heck yeah. yeah. But yeah, like, the way it's like not like. So that. you say you've never used this before, right? There's yeah, but I mean, I understand how. It's okay, like, you've seen how they're used. Yeah. Right? There's five. So that's the coolest setting. That's what I like. Then you got. Yeah, I like low temp. Medium. Yeah. Then it's getting hotter. I don't know who would do white hot. You gotta be crazy. But each use their own. <laughs> but what I like to do is when I put a big dab in. Yeah. You double click it. Okay. And when it's ready, it vibrates. Yeah. And it'll be heating. Yeah. And then it'll it'll be heating for like ten seconds, and then it shuts down. You double click it again. Okay. And then it just is like a continuous party dab. Like okay. Like you could do individuals, or we could do big ones. Do you guys want to like film me doing the first dab off of this? I've, 